This week's Scholar Athlete, I believe, has been on the radio station before. Grayson Pup Howard, a senior at Andrew Jackson. Grayson, congratulations and thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. Was I right? Is this your second time on radio? Yes, ma'am. Yes, it is. That's what I thought. Well, you're a, you're a professional now. All right, so you've been playing football for how long? Uh, since my seventh grade year. All right, so I played park ball, but I did. It was kind of like the get your ten snaps that you play for that you paid for okay. type of thing. <laughs> um, I played in seventh grade. I actually got cut my seventh grade year. What? Um, and then I talked to the coach. He was like, "Well, with that energy, we'll bring you back." So I played a little, like a little bit in my seventh grade year. But that's when uh everything really started. My eighth grade year, I started my eighth grade year both ways. I got MVP. Um, still talk to the head coach to this day and talk to all the players because all the players are doing big things around Jacksonville as well. So since eighth grade, ninth grade, 11th grade, and here we are today. Right. Well, let me ask you, everyone knows who Pup Howard is. You're a big-time recruit. Everybody knows they all wanted you, and you picked South Carolina. Now, we asked you this off the air, but I want to ask you on the air. Take us through the process. How did you land on South Carolina? I asked you before, were you a South Carolina fan growing up, and you answered me, but for the sake of our listeners, take us through all of it. Um, so the process, um, of course it is a blessing. Um, I, I thank God every day for putting me in a position, uh, I can do it without my coaches, all that good stuff. Um, so the process started, we was in SAT training, um, coach Foy makes sure that, you know, grades come first. So we're in SAT training class. He calls me out of class and he says, uh, here's the phone. So I get on the phone and I talk to the coach from uh, Virginia Tech, the linebacker coach, and he offered me a scholarship. Okay. So that was my first scholarship. Um, and ever since then it's been a domino effect. Um, me and Coach Bubba, my recruiting coordinator, we went on uh, many, many visits, uh, traveled the whole uh, United States. So, I mean, it, it's a blessing. Um, going through the process, uh, my dad's from Georgia, so pretty much grew up a Georgia fan. Right. Um, learned to hate Florida, all that good stuff. Took a trip to Florida, <laughs> love Florida. Um, so it's going through the process, um, learning uh, different things about the schools, the people there at the schools. Um, but, um, you know, I'm – Pretty traditional when it comes to the process. Uh, I want to make sure I do things the right way. So it uh, took a while, and then after I knew it was time, I dropped my top five. Um, Florida, Georgia, A&M, Clemson, and South Carolina. Um, and then at that time, it was more like um, ruling everybody else out to find the right home. Yeah. Um, so I took three OVs um, to the three schools I knew um, that I was going to attend, Georgia, Florida, South Carolina. Um, my last OV was South Carolina in June, and – that was my, I want to say, 11th visit to South Carolina was my OV, and I knew it was home. So I was like, um, you know, it's time to to settle down and focus on my senior season. Um, we got big things that we need to accomplish at Jackson. So I committed there. Um, when I told Coach Beamer, he jumped into my arms. Um, so that's the type of relationship that we have and the type of relationship that I have with the staff at South Carolina. Um, and ever since then, it's been, it's been heaven since. Um, I go up there every chance I get. Um, I'm real close with, like I said, the staff, the fans, the the current commits, and the guys that we're recruiting, and I love it, and I'm I'm glad that I picked it. Yeah, Pup is the second highest rated recruit in South Carolina's 20 man class, which is so. Congratulations! Have you, you enjoyed so that Pied Piper effect of of trying to recruit other prospects to join you and oh. and join the Gamecocks? Absolutely, um, because during that you're building relationships with guys that either you're going to be playing with or playing against, and um, those type of relationships, you know, going to la- uh, last a la- lifetime. So um, the process of getting other guys to play with you, uh, I mean, you you got to get the right people, um, the people with this, the right work ethic and, um, you know, with a great family and all that good stuff. So, I mean, I, I've enjoyed the process, meeting new people, meeting their families, and uh, them to hop on the train to join me at South Carolina. What did you like about South Carolina's defense, especially what Clayton White does? Um, Clayton White, um, he he's great at what he does. Um, it's year two, and he like I joked with him about um, he's already getting head coaches and offers and all that good stuff. Um, but he's staying home because I'm here. Uh, his family's <laughs> at South Carolina, and we have a lot of things that we need to accomplish there. Um, the defense is amazing. Um, every game that that I've went to that I've watched, which is every game. Um, we're 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 constantly making plays on defense. Um, from Kentucky game when we uh, forced a fumble on the first snap of the uh, on defense and um, turned it turned it into points on the board. And uh, from uh, the A and M game, um, forcing fumbles, uh, tackles in the backfield, picks, all this good stuff. I mean, Coach Coach White knows what he's doing. I trust him fully, and I love him and I love his family. So I couldn't ask for a better defensive coordinator, and linebacker coach to play play for. Well, if I got to tell you, you're you're a great player, but you're a sharp dude now. I figured that out pretty quick. So so what do you what do you want to study? 
Obviously, I think the goal is the NFL, and it's probably yes, a realistic sir. goal. But there, what else do you want to do in life? Tell us about that. So I take cybersecurity classes right now at Jackson. Uh, we're a magnet program, and we have a lot of different magnets. Um, cybersecurity is what I, uh, what I'm going to major in. Um, of course, you want to stay in football forever. Um, not everybody's Tom Brady, but um, I'm going to uh, make sure that I'm building all these good relationships so that um, after I'm done playing, hopefully in the league, um, that I get to to help young athletes and come back to the University of South Carolina, be a part of the coaching staff, anything like that. Um, but you always want to have tools in your toolbox, so cybersecurity is definitely what I'm interested in. Um, it's a lot of things I'm interested in. Um, when I was younger, I wanted to be a radiologist. Uh, I want to be a, a attorney, uh, everything. So um, just a lot of tools that's going to be in my toolbox, but cybersecurity is what I put on my South Carolina application. Pup, how do you go about managing your time, and what would be your advice to 7th, 8th graders and, and as they are trying to pursue your path? Um, one thing is um, stay close to the people who's going to help you. Um, avoid distractions and um, keep God first, of course. Um, managing my time is pretty much easy. Um, my dad works his butt off so that I can do everything that I've been blessed with. So uh, I make sure that everything I do is in the best interest of him and what he has done. Uh, practice, school, sleep, nutrition, um, all the all the important stuff that's going to keep you healthy on the field. Um, you know, it, it's it's pretty much that simple. On the weekends, you get free time, but we we work on uh, on the weekends. We got games Fridays, uh, rest and recovery on Saturdays, and uh, we're back in the lab on Sundays. So it's really it's really easy to to manage my time with the schedule that I have. But um, just stay focused. Um, uh, everything happens for a reason. And um, just just keep working because uh, all work is going to pay off. You said radiologist. I thought you were going to say radio host. If you want a career in radio, <laughs> yeah. you certainly can. Yeah, have yeah. One. Please don't pursue that because you know, one of us is out of work. And so that would be. You are, I really appreciate you're, it. You're a sharp guy. Congratulations. We've all followed your career, and you're going to be great at South Carolina. Congratulations on this, and thanks for stopping by. Thank you so much. All right, Grayson Pop Howard from uh, Jackson. What a terrific.